inner space inner space is essential to receive the message of the masters and also in the process of transformation human mind is the questioning mind mind can ask questions without the break in the process of asking it forgets the importance of inner space it never cares for inner space also it is never ready to receive the answers to receive the answers to receive the messages of the master in our space is necessary and without receiving the message of the masters there can be no transformation indeed there are two types of questioning the first type of questioning comes not because you do not know but because you know something it emerges out of your so called knowledge you have the answer already and then you raise the question why do you raise the question when you have already the answer simply you want a confirmation of your belief and it is stupid whatsoever you claim to know you have not really known otherwise there would have been no need for asking the questions and secondly all your questions have been arising out of your preconceived answers there is no inner readiness to receive the new answer whenever there is such questioning it is absolutely useless it leads you nowhere because of your preconceived answers you are deaf to any possible answer and thus to the process of transformation therefore never ask because you know something who in fact you are testing definitely you are not testing yourself and testing the master is your ego and ignorance remember he does not answer your questions instead he answers your questioning mind and questioning the master is beyond your capabilities if you know it is good then there is no need to ask a question and if you do not know then ask as if you are ignorant as if you do not know as if there is a need to ask as if there is a need to inquire for the process of transformation to begin or its process to continue unless you feel that you do not know you are never vulnerable open and receptive receptivity is needed otherwise you raise a question and you do not allow the answer to sink deep within you more or less all questions are like that and these arise under such circumstances we have the answer already and then there is a search for confirmation you are not confident because you really do not know you have simply gathered certain information now you want someone to give you a conviction you need someone to be a witness to your knowledge so that you can feel yes i am right this is really absurd if you know your knowledge and knowing itself gives you the confidence it is self evident if you know something then even if the whole world denies that makes no difference and in the same way if you do not know a thing and the whole world says yes this is right that too makes no difference for you knowing is self evident and ignorance is indeed self revealing so never ask questions from your knowledge if you know it is good if you do not know then be conscious that you do not know 
and ask from your conscious ignorance. Only then you will create an inner space for answers to sink deep within and then answers to grow as part of your own growth. Only then the process of transformation can begin. The second type of questioning is authentic, sincere and honest. It always arises from the feeling that you do not know. Your doors are open. Now you are ready to invite the guest. Otherwise you invite the guest and whole house is completely closed. Then you do not really invite. If you invite, then make a space for the guest to come in. If you have already ready-made answers, then you have no space within you to receive the answer from the Master. Question is useless if there is no space to receive. Introspect when you are asking a question. If there is any space to receive the answer within you, first create this space and then ask. Therefore, a master never answers your question unless he knows that you are ready to receive the answer. Then the question is not merely intellectual or mental. You are totally involved in it. Your whole being is at stake. This is what is meant by being existential. Now the question comes from your very existence or from your being or from your inner depth. The first type of questioning is always conditioned by others. This must be understood very clearly. Ignorance is yours and your so-called knowledge is given to you by others. Ignorance is more existential than so-called knowledge that you seem to have gathered. If you do not know, this not knowing is yours. But if you say, I know because I have read Bhagavad Gita, I know because someone has said such a thing somewhere or because Buddha had said it so, and I have become acquainted with it, Therefore I know, this knowledge is not yours, it is superficial. And remember even your ignorance is more valuable than others' knowledge. At least it is yours. Something can be done with it. It is real and existential. Nothing can be done with a fiction. The real can be transformed. However, nothing can be done with a fiction or imagination. Imagined knowledge based only on information is always fictitious. It is dangerous and non-existential. Therefore ask a question, inquire about something through your existential feelings, not your accumulated mental information. If you really ask from your ignorance, then your question will be universal in a way and individual in a way because when you ask from your ignorance, you ask about a problem that is the same for everyone. If you ask from your knowledge, then the problem differs. A Hindu will never ask a question that a Muslim or a Christian will ask. Because a Hindu question differs from that of a Christian question or a Muslim question. A Christian will never ask the same question that a Jain or a Hebrew will ask. A Muslim's knowledge differs from that of Hindu. However, there is nothing as Muslim ignorance or Hindu ignorance. Ignorance is universal and existential. But certainly knowledge differs. Muslim knowledge is different from Hindu or Jain or Christian knowledge. If your questioning comes out of your knowledge, it is bound to come out of your social conditioning. Then it is not universal or existential. When a Muslim asks something, 
he himself is not really asking that which has been forced upon him or that which has been conditioned and indeed it is that conditioning which is asking and this is not only true about Muslims but about everyone else a Hindu or a Christian or a Jew or a Jain or a Buddhist or a Sikh all of them ask questions out of their social conditioning the real man is hidden behind the mask of these so-called religions the imposed Muslim or imposed Hindu or a Christian imposed Christian is asking then it is superficial and whatsoever answer is given it is not going to benefit your depths in such case the question was never from your inner depth. Existential questioning means that you go through all the conditioned layers of your mind and ask. Just as a pure, naked existence, not as a Muslim, Sikh, Jain, Christian or Hindu. Ask as if you have not been given any answer before. Put your answers aside. Then your question will be individual in a way because it has come from you and it will be simultaneously universal because whenever someone goes inside himself so deeply, the same question comes. So be existential in your asking the question and never ask from your knowledge. Instead ask the question from your ignorance. But if you want transformation, then ask from your ignorance. Be aware of your ignorance. Go deep in your unconscious and subconscious layers and find that questioning which is coming out of your ignorance and not out of your knowledge. Only then transformation is possible.